Example number two now is a continuation from example number one. And the question again is uh, now we're given actually um, equations of graphs and uh, they may be a line, they may be some kind of curvy line, they may be a, a parabola, but what we're trying to do here is we're trying to test for functions. Are they, are, are they functions? And we're going to do it algebraically. Okay, because next example we're going to do them graphically, I um, mean using our graphing calculators and all that. But um, so we are given this equation, and we're given this equation. So we have two separate problems, and, and they want to know which of the equation represents y as a function of x. And again, when they say which one represents y, or y is a function of x, that's the same thing as saying, is this a function? And then, is this a function? And what that means, by definition, does every x value only have one y value, right? That's exactly what a function means here. So the way, the way to do these kind of problems here is actually quite simple um, in that if you want to find if any function... Oh, I'm sorry, if um, any equation is a function, you need to solve for y. Okay, so if I solve for y here, I'm just going to subtract x squared from both sides. So I get negative x squared plus 1. So what this means is this. All right, so how do we know if this is a function? What that means is you have to ask yourself this question. If I input, okay, if I input any value in for x, how many y values am I going to get? Okay, because if we only get one output, okay, and, and, and then this right here is going to be our um, output. If I only get one output, then that means it's a function. But if I put in, say, for example, the number 3 right here, and then two answers pop out, then that would not be a function, right? Because every x can only go to 1. So, um, I mean, think about this. Let's just pick any value for x. I don't know. Let's just choose x is 1. So, y equals 1 squared plus 1. Well, I square 1. I get 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is y is 0. So, that means I plugged in 1, and what popped out? 0. Okay, so, so far, that's a function, right? Because I plugged in 1, and, and, and then output uh, 0. Let's see. Uh, let's try a negative number. Let's try maybe if I plug in x equals negative 3. All right, well, let's see what happens there. Uh, let's see, y equals um, uh, minus negative 3 squared plus 1. So let's see, I square negative 3. I get 9. 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus 1, y equals negative 8. Oh, one answer popped out again. So if I plug in negative 3, then it only went to negative 8. Okay, so, and then even if we try 0, if I plug in 0, if I plug in 0, I get 0 plus 1, so I get 1 right there. So, do you see here that it doesn't matter what number, it doesn't matter what number I plug in here. Any number I plug in, how many outputs do we get? Only one, right? And by definition of a function, every x value only has one y value, so we would say that this one is a function. Okay, and so I know that there's not like a set formula other than maybe you always want to solve for y, and then you kind of just have to think about it. Okay, are there any values that I can plug in that's going to give me two values? And really, there's none. Okay, you can't think of a number that you plug in that's going to give me two y values. Okay, so that would be a function there. Now let's take a look at this guy. Again, uh, solve for y. I, I think that's what you always want to do when you want to find out if an equation is a function. So let's add x. So y squared equals um, x plus 1. And then let's take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x plus 1. Let's remember back from algebra, anytime you take the square root, you have to put plus or minus. Okay, so let's think about this here. If I plug in any number in for x, okay, if I input a number, how many y values are we going to get? Well, give me a number for x. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll try 1. What happens when we plug in 1? Well, so y equals plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 1. So that means y equals plus or minus the square root of 2. 
Oh, wait a minute. What does plus or minus mean? Plus or minus means that means one's positive root 2 and one's negative root 2. Uh oh, wait a minute. I plugged in 1 and output root 2, and when I plugged in 1, out came radical or negative radical 2. Wait a minute. By definition of a function, every x value should only go to one y value. But look, the same x function went to two different y values. You see there? So that's why this one would not uh, be a function. Because, once again, if you plug in one value for x, output, out came two values. Okay, so this right here would not be a function. And this guy right here would be a function.